It's Monday, it can only mean whiskey on my channel. Jack Daniels, that's what I do every Monday, Jack Daniels cocktails. Today for you, I've kind of got a cinnamon and cola uh, sour and it is so super delicious. Beautifully vibrant in uh, cola notes coming in there. I've used split base whiskey for uh, for the base of the cocktail, obviously. Uh, you could just use um, Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire. Of course you could. Think of it as like Fireball. Um, so it's like a cinnamon forward uh, whiskey liqueur. It is a liqueur in there. I'll be open and honest, my whiskey palette is not that developed yet. I like what I like. I think Jack Daniels is a superb brand uh, to get you into whiskey cocktails. Uh, but feel free, if you've got your favorite bourbon or your favorite rye or whatever, feel free to do, please do swap it out. But I just think Jack Daniels smashed it for this. Uh, so let's get in uh, and show you how to make the cocktail. Right, run you through the ingredients for this cocktail. As you've seen, I've got split base whiskey for this. So we've got Tennessee Fire, Cinnamon, uh, essentially, I uh, think Fireball, Fireball may be the more famous, but I love this. Uh, and I've got Jack Daniels Rye, because just to balance it out and give those extra kind of spicier notes to it, I do really love that. I've got William Fox's Cola Syrup, uh, an amazing, amazing syrup, absolutely love this. I've got Miss Betty's Bitters Cola Bitters. Uh, I've got some Stella Bunt Foamers as my egg white replacement for this because it is a sour cocktail and you would normally use egg white. Uh, and then I've obviously got some lemon juice. Right well, then, shaken cocktail. So uh, let's start off with do the split base. So I'm doing 30 mil of um, my JD Fire, Cinnamon Fire, Tennessee Fire. What's it called? Tennessee Fire. 30 mil, one ounce. It's a lovely cinnamon forward whiskey. And then just because I don't want it too sweet, I'm gonna rein that back in with a bit of uh, Jack Daniels rye whiskey. Feel free to play about with this, but again, 30 mil of rye. Then I'm going for some of William Fox's awesome, awesome cola syrup. I love this, this is brilliant stuff. It tastes and smells just like fit those cola bottles. Do you remember the cola bottles? Anyway, 15 mil, half an ounce of cola syrup. Next ingredient is just some lemon juice and I'm just going for 30 mil, one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And final ingredient before the shake is my Stella Bunt Foamers. You could go to bitters in now, I've got spritz caps in, so uh, new first timers, you'll see what I do for them, but regulars, you'll know what I'm kind of doing. Anyway, these foamers, these are absolute genius. Mimic your egg white, vegan friendly. Uh, all you need is eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, perfect. Right, as I've said a few times, I have got into the habit of dry shaking these. I don't think you need to, but just to demonstrate the fact, you take them from that, and in five seconds, you go to that. Look at that, five seconds worth. I'll tell you, the cola aromas are amazing, but we just need to chill it down now, so we're gonna give it a proper hard, fast shake, 10 to 12 seconds. Again, none of this feeble stuff. Proper hard, fast welly, 10 seconds, go. And when you are out of breath. Oh, right. I'm going to serve this up into my nice kind of whiskey glass. I haven't done these bitters yet. Uh, now you could, I've got spritz caps on these. If you've got the pipettes, that's fine. Four spritzes would be just about a dash. I'm going for like six to eight spritzes now. One, two, three. Eight. <laughs> what those spritzes will do will kind of like coat the glass with cola notes and that's kind of what I want. I am gonna double strain this cocktail. Uh, I'm gonna double strain just over chunky ice. Could do a big ball of ice if you wanted to, that'd be all right. And double strain and we'll get that nice tight frothy, frothy head on top. And then just to garnish, I've got one here. I did talk about them in the last video, I think it was, but I've been waiting for these for ages. Uh, dehydrated, new dehydrated fruits. I've got a dehydrated orange. Now, if that hasn't scratched your whiskey itch, dive into one of those videos and playlists is popping up on screen there for even more inspiration. If you like the recipe, big old thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel.